Hello. In this video, we would learn what are callbacks and we would also take a look at some of the important callbacks available in OpenMaya. So, what are callbacks? Callback is a way of linking a specific function to a specific event and watch the occurrence of this event all the time. So when we create a callback providing it at what event we want to execute which function, that particular callback would always keep an eye on this event. And whenever that event would occur, callback would execute that function. In other words, callback allows us to register the function against particular or specific events. They are very similar to listeners in Java and triggers in Oracle. And based on different events, we classify the callbacks in OpenMaya. So before we start looking at different callbacks available in OpenMaya, we will take a look at which class we will use to create a callback. What is the generalized method of creating a callback? The base class or the class which you will be using to create the message callback is mMessage. And the classes to create different other callbacks are derived from this mMessage class. The generalized format of creating a callback is we specify what kind of callback it is. And in the argument list or in the parameter list, we pass at what event do we want to execute and which function do we want to execute. So in this way, we would define which specific event should this callback looking for and when this event occurs, which function is to be called. Here, in the base class of creating the callback, we see message keyword. And even in the derived classes, we would see message keyword as well. For example, m and m message, m command message, So in all these classes, we will see the message word. So conceptually, whenever a particular event occurs, a message is generated, which is listened by the callback and based on that, the function is executed. Callbacks can be removed at any point. And whenever we create a callback, an ID of that callback is returned. And this ID will be used to keep a track on the callback and to remove it. And once we lose this ID, it would be harder or it would not be possible to delete the callback and it would stay in your Maya session forever. So it's, uh, it's important to manage the callback IDs. Now we would start taking a look at some of the important callbacks available in OpenMaya. First, we would take a look at MNM message class, which is used to create animation callbacks, message callback. So if you want to handle the events like animation curve editing, 
or keyframe editing or any change in the bake result. In those cases, you can use animation message callback. Another callback is command message callback. These callbacks are used to handle specific mail commands, the execution of specific mail commands. I will create some symbolic representation so that we can remember about these type of callbacks. Another type of callback is MDG message. These callbacks are for handling the dependency graph messages. So what are these dependency graph messages? If you add a node or if a node is added or removed, if a connection is established or removed or broken for handling these messages MDG message callbacks are used so if you create a node or delete it if you create connection or delete it then in those cases MDG message callbacks will be used. Now there is another type of callback which is MDAG message callback. And what are these? So these are also for dependency graph messages. So why do we have another callback for dependency graph messages? So as we saw that MDG message callback was for creating the node and deleting the node and creating and removing the connections. These MDAG message callbacks are to track or check the occurrence of dependency graph node switching. That means if a node is parented or node is made a child of another node so we are switching these dependency graph nodes so these are for when a parent child or an instance is added or removed so that is the differentiation between mdag message class and mdg message class now we would take a look at event messages m event message class m event message class or event message callbacks are used to register specific functions against specific events this callback is very similar to the script jobs mail command and there are a lot of events using which we can register different functions and these all events can be listed using a function called as get event names which is open via dot m event message which is the class we will use to create event message callback and the function name is get event names using this we can grab or we can see a list of all the events available in m event callback next callback class we are looking at is lock message callback these callbacks are to watch for lock messages and when these lock messages are given 
when a plug or a node is locked or unlocked. So when and why the plugs are locked and unlocked so that their values cannot be changed. And when the node are locked and unlocked for preventing from being parented or from being reparented, renamed or deleted. So the event messages callback are similar to script job and the lock message callback are to lock or are to keep a track of locking messages. Next callbacks or the next type of callback we are going to take a look at is node message. And these callbacks are for handling dependency node message. So when are these message generated? When an attribute is added or removed, a plug of a node is set dirty or the name of the node is changed. The next callback is seen message callback. This is one of the most important and one of the most used callbacks and this callback or this type of callback is used to handle scene related messages. And what are these scene related message? They can be classified before and after. For example, if a new scene is created, an event can be specified before the creation of a new scene and after the creation of a new scene. That means, do you want to execute the function before a new scene is opened or after a new scene is opened? So they can be classified in before and after. And what events can be when a new scene is opened? So before and after a new scene and if an existing scene is opened. When a reference is loaded or unloaded. Or when before and after Maya is initialized or exited. And these callbacks are very sensitive. So be careful when you use these callbacks because if you are trying to retrieve a value which is not available during a point of an initialization, fatal error or some unexpected result might occur. So these are a few of the sensitive callbacks which are which should only be used when you are sure of what you want to do. And other callbacks are timer message callback, UI message callback, and user event message callback. So the timer message callbacks are like the setting timer. You can add callbacks based on the different time events. And user event message callbacks are for handling the user defined event. So if you think that any event which you want to use is not available in OpenMaya, you can create your own user event and based on that callback can execute a function. And UI message callbacks are to register callbacks to track the deletion of the UI objects. So these are few important callbacks which you will be using. And in the next video, we would use the event message callback to create our tool. You can also find the documentation of all these callbacks in Maya 2013 API documentation. And if you will look for M message class, it would give you all the functions. And in the inheritance diagram, you will see all the different message classes available for creating different type of callback. So amongst these 
callbacks we saw a couple of useful callbacks in our blackboard and if you want to read more you can read the description of these types of callbacks so that's it for the theoretical explanation of the callbacks and in the next video we will write some code to create the callbacks and we will use them to create our own tools